if you still have a soul, um, what will prevent it is if it's not strong enough. Um, meaning that, I'm trying to think of a simple example. Like if you had to, yeah, okay. Say, let's say you needed a certain amount of strength or muscles to be able to lift something up and you're, you didn't make the grade, meaning that you can't lift that thing up. You can either go and push weights and then get stronger and then you can do it. So I'm saying that to say your soul has to be vibrating or in terms of energetically it has to be strong enough to transcend the different realms yeah so that's why the spiritual practices the things you do to to deal with raising your vibration um, energy helps you i gave an example before using the battery as an analogy where i was saying like if you don't charge your battery fully charge like if you have a mobile phone your phone can still work if you even if you're until like two three percent but if you allow it to get to the point where it's um, zero percent, but it, and it can't even be charged anymore, then your phone, that battery is dead. There's nothing you can do about it. But as it's on five percent, you can recharge it, and you might charge it to forty percent or fifty percent, which will last you a certain amount of time. But if you had a hundred percent, you just feel confident. You feel like, yeah, my battery's gonna last me for what two, three days. And so the soul using that example is the same. Where at the time you're crossing. If your soul is not fully charged, you won't, you won't get so far. It's like the fuel you have to travel to get to where you need to get to. So you have to constantly make sure that, for lack of a better word, your battery is charged fully. And that comes with when you get up every day, what do you do? What do you eat? What do you think? What do you put into your body? Like what spiritual practices do you do? You do? do you fast? Do you or are you easily influenced by the surroundings and the voices and the, you know what I mean, the, the, the infrared um, signals, the, the gamma rays and all the stuff that's in the atmosphere. So this is why it's such an important um, thing to clean yourself up with the herbs, um, have positive thoughts and vibrations, do positive works, help people, help humanity, um, love. Your seats actually help you because your heart seat is the love one, the divine love, not lust. Um, like I mentioned again, it's in the book, um, the nine mental diseases. You've got to be able to not eradicate them. I mean, I use that word a lot, but it's like, because it's there, but you don't, you don't exercise it. Like you, you have ego, for example. Yeah, that's one of the, the um, nine mental diseases. Ego is not necessarily a bad thing because it helps you to have confidence and so on. But ego in the wrong way is a bad thing. So it's about, you know, like all these, these things you do, you gotta be able to like have it balanced. And that's one of the names of Wu Sabat or Wu Nuap. It's about balance because you lean one degree or one way, either way, um, it can become, you know what I mean, unbalanced. And the beings that know this, they use things like marketing and advertising to influence your choices. So all day long you're bombarded with adverts and these days it's like social media, it's, a, it's like you might go on your computer or go on your phone to do something positive and then, you know what I mean, you're going to see something come up that's going to distract you. Before you know it, you're scrolling for hours and you weren't supposed to be doing that. So um, the web is one of those things that is used to catch its prey. Remember I was saying about prey, P-R-A and P-R-E? The, the, where you, the spider sets up a web with all of these, you know, uh, like a net to catch its prey. And um, yeah, so you have to always be on your, as they say, on your P's and Q's or be on the point in terms of your, you know, what your existence is all about.